The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. Well, after qualifying at various regional tournaments, hundreds of archers from around Minnesota moved on to the state indoor championship in Bemidji. As Mel Meyer reports for this week's Community Spotlight, the competitors of all ages and experience levels were aiming to hit their goals right on target. The MSAA State Indoor is one of the largest annual tournaments in the nation, serving as the beginning of archery season. This is a huge tournament. It takes uh, uh, quite a few people to run it. So, uh, yeah, we've been preparing for this for over a year now. But the hosts weren't the only ones preparing. After practicing for months with their dad, Callie Static and sister Riley are ready for the big day. Are you guys nervous, excited? Both? Uh, both. The statics are two of about 900 archers who have made their way to Bemidji for the occasion, which is one of Charlie Johnson's favorite parts. You just get to meet like tons of different people from different areas and compete against them. While they all stand side by side. You got kids and uh, you know all the way up to 70 year old people shooting. They're actually divided up into divisions and classes, which are based on age ranges, types of bows and gear, and skill levels. Even experts like Lee Dragmiller with over 20 years of experience are always looking to improve their skills. I just personally just try to beat my old record, which isn't very high, but it's, it's always fun. If the competitors go on to other tournaments this year, they'll add up all their scores from each event to go towards a grand champion. While this was Jenna Stuckey's first time competing, she had her eyes on the prize, a perfect score. I'm hoping to get maybe the lowest 297 would be great, um, but 300 of course is what I would be hoping for. The best of the best will be awarded a plaque for their work. In Bemidji with this week's Community Spotlight, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.